Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss a lead code hard problem. Uh, it is not very hard, but in lead code it is in a hard category. So let's discuss it and we will try to do it with a simple approach. Okay. So the so the problem name is get the second most recent activity. Okay. So if you see, this is our table, user activity table, right? In user activity table, we have a user okay and for each user is doing some activity right so for each user we have a start date end date so for for allies for the username allies start date is 12 feb to 20th feb this activity he did then from 21st feb to 23rd he did dancing and then from 24 to 28 travel right so this is the condition that there will not be any activity overlapping so one person can do any activity only at a time only one activity he cannot do two activities so they, they will not be any overlap of dates okay now this is fine now second condition is if there is only one activity then return that one which means if a user is doing only one activity then in the output we have to get that okay if user has multiple activity then we have to get second most recent which means this right so in the output for alice we have second most recent activity this one and for bob we have as it is because bob has only one activity i hope question is clear so let's move on to the solution okay so getting second activity is simple right i can use rank function and get the second most activity and that's it right but i have to handle this situation that if someone has only one activity right so what we will do see so what i'm going to do just see this so what i will do i will get the count okay over partition by username okay as total activities right also i will get rank i will just explain you how it will work over partition by username okay for each username i want a separate rank okay and I order by i can take a start date or end date doesn't matter descending so the most recent activity will get rank one second most will get two and third most will get three in that way right and now let me run this. Yes, okay. Now if I run this uh, down, okay. I'm just running this. Okay. So if you see for Alice, okay, we got total activities three for all three rows, right? Because I'm doing partition by username. I'm not using order by here. So what it will do, it will get the count for that user and put for each row so you are getting three 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 total activities and rank i am doing partition by alice so for alice i have got rank one two three the latest activity got rank one and the oldest has got three and similarly and for bob for bob we have only one activity so the total activities is one and rank one so what we can do we can just say give me all the records where either total activity is only one if total activity is only one, then give me that row as it is. Otherwise, give me those rows where rank is two, right? What I will do with CTS, I will create this as CT and select star from CT where either total activities is only one activity or, so I will use all here, rank equal to two. Give me second recent activity right so if i run this we will get the answer we got dancing for alice and for bob one. i hope this was useful if you have any other better approach let me know i will put in the description box insert a statement do like and share the video thanks for watching